Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use the ID selector in HTML and CSS code. In the previous tutorial uh, we looked at a few different types of CSS selectors and we used the class selector to apply a style to all elements um, that used um, a particular class name in our CSS code. In this video we'll look at the ID selector. So um, whilst classes are, are used when you want to apply it, a style usually to more than one element or a theme to more than one element that has that class assigned to it. The ID selector is used when we want to apply a style to just a single element. So an ID is unique for each element. So for example, if there was a one-off paragraph on a page that we wanted to have a specific style. Um, so we can use a class for multiple elements. Um, it should only ever use an ID for a single element. Uh, if we use the same ID for multiple elements, problems will start to occur, especially when we start using JavaScript code uh, and or creating forms on a web page. So, for example, if you have a form with a um, with text boxes as inputs, and you want to uh, grab information from those text boxes, so for example, if you have a a registration page where you have um, you know, first name, last name, email address, um, username, that kind of thing that's uh, those kinds of text boxes where users enter information in a form, you might want to grab the information that they've typed into um, those individual text boxes using an ID. So each each input or each text box would have a, an individual unique ID that you could use to um, grab the, the data from. Okay, so we should really only be using IDs for a single element. Uh, otherwise, we, we can run into problems if we use an ID for more than one element. Okay, so um, any uh, HTML element on a web page can be given an ID. Um, so let's have a, a look at some examples now. So um, I'll just create, uh, I'll just create a few paragraphs. All right, so I've just I've got one paragraph there, and I'll just copy and paste that. So I've got three. Okay, uh, one will be blue, one will be green, and one will be uh, red. Okay, now um, all we do, just like we did in the previous tutorial, where we said um, class equals and then gave it a name, for example, blue. Um, we do the same kind of thing, but we just say ID. So I'm just going to call this uh, blue text. Uh, this one, I'm going to call this green text. And this one, I'm going to call red text. So each paragraph here has a unique ID. Now in the CSS code, uh, which I've got linked to um, this HTML file, over here on the right, I've got my CSS file. Uh, in the CSS code, we can create those IDs. Now, in the previous tutorial, we looked at how to create classes. We, we start with a, um, a dot or a period and then specify the class name, for example, blue text. But when we're working with IDs, we use the hashtag or pound symbol instead. Okay, so I'll say hashtag blue text. And then in the curly brackets, I can add all of my um, theme or style information here that I want. So I'm gonna say color blue, I might say uh, font Arial, all right, um, for font size as well, we might do, oops, that should be, sorry, font family, Arial. Uh, we might do font size, uh, 14 point. Okay, then we can make an ID called green text, and this one's going to be green. We might go with times as the font here. Font size might be 12. And then lastly, red text. We can have a different theme for that as well. So maybe color red, uh, maybe font family, Madonna, and we'll go font size uh, 16 point. Okay, so we've got three unique IDs here and they each have uh, a specific uh, theme. All right, for save that code, you can go and refresh or load the page. 
and there we go. Each paragraph here looks different um, because, and is using a, a different ID with a theme set for that ID. So that's basically how you create and use IDs uh, in, in HTML and CSS. Might not look all that useful at the moment. You might be wondering why not just use classes then? Why not just um, create a class called blue text or a class called green text and then just specify the class here? Um, because then if we do want to use um, that specific style or theme again for another element on a web page, then it would be easy with a class. So yes, most of the time you might just use classes, but when it comes to later on, if you start writing JavaScript code, or you start creating forms with different inputs like text boxes, IDs will be handy because there will be times where you want to just access a particular element or value or, or data on a web page that's unique and um, the best way to do that would be using an ID. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.